and welcome back to WeBC. In this video, we will be reviewing the Razer Basilisk version 2. Remember, if you're new around here, to hit the subscribe button, and if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. The Razer Basilisk has been a hugely popular FPS gaming mouse since its arrival a couple of years back. It was released to try and compete with the impressive G502 from Logitech, a mouse that, at the time, claimed to house the world's best DPI sensor. Unfortunately though, the Basilisk was unable to keep up with the G502 and fell short thanks to some standout features. So, what does the Basilisk version 2 bring to the table in 2020, and can it now compete with the ever-popular Logitech G502? So, what comes in the box? As with all Razer products, the box features the standout black and green design you would expect. The mouse is displayed up front alongside some major specs like the sensor and button mapping. The back showcases further specifications and some generic copy. Inside the box, you will find the Basilisk neatly bundled inside a thin layer of cardboard. Underneath, you will find the cable along with the manual and additional details. All pretty standard from Razer. As far as size is concerned, the V2 is pretty similar in terms of its profile when compared against the original. It offers almost identical dimensions and when put side by side doesn't really showcase any size differences. However, we do see a weight drop from 105 grams down to 93 grams. This is most likely to compete with Logitech's G Pro. Moving on to shape and texture, the Basilisk V2 doesn't really sway from the original when it comes to shaping. As mentioned above, they both come to the table displaying a very similar profile. This even includes the heavy right-left slant we see when looking at this mouse from head on. The texture, on the other hand, has changed dramatically from the original, with the V2 offering a much coarser feel for the most part. The shell has been finished with a brush-like texture designed to offer additional grip while gaming, whereas the side grips have ditched the groove style design of the original and have opted for a micro-textured grip instead. This is a prevalent feature on the entire mouse and provides you with great accuracy in-game. The Basilisk V2 has 11 mappable buttons that are all fully customizable via the Synapse software, something we'll touch upon later, which is an increase of four over the original version. The main clickers have a gentle downward slope and accommodate your fingers nicely. They both feel relatively tactile and offer decent actuation feedback. Ideal if you're into a noisy mouse. We'll do a quick sound test now. The two DPI buttons have changed dramatically when comparing this mouse to its predecessor. Razer has ditched the slender design and has opted for something much squarer. The larger DPI buttons of the Basilisk V2 are now housed in a little recess between the two main clickers and protrude ever so slightly. With an angled design, they certainly feel more tactile than the original Basilisk and should offer much fewer misclicks. The side buttons are once again slightly larger than the originals and have a tactile yet slightly spongy feel to them. The Basilisk V2 has been equipped with Razer's optical switches that offer infrared technology for an industry-leading response time of 0.2 milliseconds. The new switches no longer require traditional physical contact to actuate, meaning the new form of actuation has a hugely reduced misclick rate and debounce delay. They are rated at well over 50 million clicks, which is 40% more than previous versions. The cable is another big improvement over the original Basilisk and is now designed using what Razer likes to call SpeedFlex cable technology. The new cable design offers much more flexibility, a better lifespan and much less resistance. It required a fair bit of force to get it into Razer's own bungee, never mind other brands. It does offer a decent 2.1 meter length though, more than enough for most people's general requirements. As far as specifications are concerned, the Basilisk V2 comes to the table boasting an array of high performance specs that include Razer's Focus Plus optical sensor, 11 mappable buttons, a thumb seat for a more secure grip, and an ergonomic design which is tailored towards gamers. The skates on the Basilisk V2 are another improvement made over the original and now boast a 100% PTFE design, offering slick movements across almost any surface. Let's talk about the new sensor which was developed alongside PixArt and supports up to 20,000 DPI with a 99.6% resolution accuracy. So they say. Which, in the simplest possible terms, means that the V2 is extremely accurate at portraying your hand's movement. Now let's not get carried away with DPI, as we all know most users don't go above 1200 or so, 
I mean, for me personally, I still use around 800 DPI when it comes to FPS game. Having said that, when using this mouse in fast-paced shooters like CSGO, I did find it to be extremely responsive and accurate for the most part. So thumbs up for the sensor. With the Basilisk 11 buttons to mess around with, MMO lovers will surely find great use of this mouse as well. So how did this thing perform in game? Well, we've already touched on how the sensor performed in terms of responsiveness and accuracy. It was flawless. I've been using this mouse for a good few weeks now, and it feels really nice. The ergonomic design took no time to get used to, and the sensor feels snappy and pixel accurate. The buttons are all easy to actuate and offered a click resistance that felt great when getting those crucial headshots. Thanks to its wide base and large footprint, the V2 has a hunkered down feel when you're gaming. The Basilisk V2 makes use of Razer's intuitive Synapse software. Historically, the software has been stated for lacking in features and not being user-friendly. Having said that, Razer has optimized the software over the past few years, making it much easier to use and much more reliable. If you already have Razer's Synapse software installed, it will automatically recognize the Basilisk V2 once you plug in the USB. From there, you'll be able to set button profiles, customize RGB, and change the DPI setting. So I suppose it's time to answer the long-awaited question you're probably asking right now. Is the Basilisk V2 worth your hard-earned cash? Well, that comes down to a number of different factors. So let's get them out the way straight up. This mouse is not ideal for people with very small hands. Its large design is going to make gaming and general use a little inconvenient. Secondly, if you're a person that enjoys the weight of the original Basilisk. Secondly, if you're a person that enjoys the weight of the original Basilisk, this one probably won't do it for you. It's much lighter, over 10 grams, and feels every bit of it. Having said that, if you're someone who enjoys fast-paced FPS games and requires a super accurate mouse, the Basilisk V2 could provide exactly what you need. The design and sensor the Basilisk V2 comes equipped with will offer a platform to try and take your game to the next level. It's hugely accurate and provides an ergonomic design that fits perfectly into most grip sizes. Oh, and it displays pretty good value for money as well. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click that notification bell so you never miss a video, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.